What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, JY, back with another video for you guys. And you know the vibes, man. If you new, hit the subscribe. Join the latest screen. Don't be rocking. Hit the thumbs up button because this video is about to be lit, man. You guys have been asking about the video of how to get 10 rebounds with the win way for this challenge. Now I know a lot of us is like, man, to me, it took me a lot of times, it took me about maybe like six to 10 times to complete this challenge. It took a couple guys once, twice. I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to be a headache. I mean, right now, you know, damn near don't need ad bills. Anything you can just, to ease your mind, have a glass of water, if you got a shot of drink, whatever you need, just, All right, so before we get started, uh, before we get into the gameplay of showing you guys how, how to get 10 rebounds, let's just start off with a lineup. Now, I know you guys are like, man, what, what do I do with Dwayne Wade? Now, the one thing I'm going to say how I got it done was I had Dwayne Wade at center. Now, I've been seeing people do, some people did this with Dwayne Wade at shooting guard, but at the same time, you want to make sure that you have a smaller lineup. So with that being said, you want to look for guys that's maybe six foot to five foot. You know, at the end of the day, it's about just looking at the, the cards and looking at the players' heights. Now, with this instinct, you know, you can probably go a couple bronze, you know, go bronze, silver, but at the same time, you want to have a backup lineup, like 6'2". Go TJ McConnell in this situation. AI is, what, six feet? You go AI, right? No, actually, you got to put Wade in, so you have to go Wade. Small forward. Now, this is where it gets tough. Small forward, you go Cedric Sabalos. Keep you, keep you saying I'm saying that wrong. Like, man, it's Sabalos for me. Now, I don't want to put Draymond out there because Draymond is a snagger on, on rebounds. You want to stay away from a lot of the 6'10", 6'5". I mean, the one thing you want to think about is can they can they be, can they stick Tim Duncan? I'm going to put Marcus Morris out there. You're going, to go, you're going to go against a Tony Parker Pink Diamond and a Pink Diamond Tim Duncan. So those are the two options you have. You got to make sure they can stick some defense. Now, if you want to get a little bit better with this, instead of putting TJ McConnell, I can literally probably put out Kyrie because he's 6'3", not that bad at all. Throw out Kyrie. Um, with a center-wise, you want to go with somebody small, around maybe, let's say, about 6'9", at least. Um, I could throw Draymond out there, but Draymond loves snagging rebounds. That's the only thing about that because I got a lot of players that's 7 foot, 6'10" stuff like that so it's kind of hard for me to add this which is why i did the other route but with a smaller lineup in this situation i would say to go with let's see julius randall 6'9 but he likes to get rebounds a lot um let's see i'll say go with draymond go with draymond in this situation then from here this is the starter five that i play with until i get 10 rebounds which you want to do in the game you want to have the wayne wade stick Nazar Muhammad You off ball Nazar Muhammad when he gets the ball let him shoot and you just stay under the rim And you go for the rebounds before we go ahead and get started I'm gonna play the gameplay and I'm gonna talk over it and we're gonna just watch how I was doing this But I have weighed at center at this time. So I'm gonna switch that over game Challenge number 12 now. Yes, it says completed because yes, I have completed this challenge this is the most ridiculous challenge I will ever say to do and to actually make. Like, I wonder who's behind the scenes and made this challenge. You must use Evolution Dwayne Wade and Spotlight Wade Ray Allen in your lineup and get 10 rebounds with Dwayne Wade. Now, it is asking you to use Ray Allen, but it's not saying that you have to play Ray Allen in your starting lineup. You just have to have him on your team. It is on Superstar. It's five minutes. Like I said, once you pass this, You'll be on a good flow to get Diamond Alonzo Morning. All the other challenges is not as hard as this one. Um, but like I said, you guys, I'm going to show you the content. I'm going to show you the lineups. I'm going to show you some gameplay as far as in how to progress to get to the next step, to get to challenge number 13. Okay. Good luck, you guys. So right here, you see, as I got my line, I got a lot of short, I got a lot of short guards with Larry Bird out there because I got Larry Bird trying to stick Tim Duncan. Um, in this situation, this is the fourth quarter with two minutes to go. I needed only one rebound, but just showing you what I was doing. I was throwing up shots, jacking shots, trying to crash the glass with Dwayne Wade. At the end of the day, you get more so of your rebounds when you know you let Nazar Muhammad. You see, I have Wade sticking uh, Muhammad. I'm just gonna back off a little bit. 
Tony Parker's gonna hit that shot though. It's like I'm letting some of the players shoot, sagging off a little bit so I can be the first one to clash the, crash the glass. At the end of the day, this is the hardest challenge to do that I've witnessed. Um, this does require some Advil, damn near, um, and, and a glass of water or a, some, some, you know, some alcohol in your, in your system, you know, you feel me? But don't be drinking if you're under 21. You ain't hit that, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. But what I'm saying in general is pretty much just crashing the glass, right? Like right here, playing big rape rebound, that's 10. When I got that board, I was just ecstatic, bro, because it took me about maybe eight tries. At the end of the day, I know some people did this maybe faster, but I got it done. You can get it done too. Don't think that you can't get it done. Just know that you have to let Wade stick the power forward. Do not let Wade stick Tim Duncan because Tim Duncan will go to the post and Tim Duncan will dominate. Let Wade stick Muhammad. Let him shoot. Will he hit some? Yes, he will definitely hit some. But at the end of the day, you have to let him shoot the ball. You have to go for the rebound. Get to 10 rebounds. What I always say is you want to get between five to six rebounds before the end of the second quarter. If you don't, restart. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be hard to catch up and focus on rebounds. Because you have to get the win, too. You got to focus on getting the win. That's what you got to make sure. You focus to get the win. This is what I mean by having a secondary lineup. Now, once I got those 10 rebounds with Wade and I had a smaller lineup, this is when I brought out my refreshments. My go Not say my go-to squad, but my bench players that can go out there and finish out the game for me. So I'm just going to skip ahead of this video. So I just want to show you guys a little bit of what I was doing because... Once you get 10 rebounds, you're not going to be blowing this team out. Just know that right now. You're not going to be blowing the Spurs out. The Spurs is going to give you a, a close game. Trust me. They're going to give you a close game because your, your focus is to get 10 rebounds and score and keep the lead for the win. But do not let the Spurs go up by 15. I lost to the Spurs by 16, trying to come back and lost by three. Twice. I did that twice, and I got the 10 rebounds. I could have been did it before the eight times, but my goofy self let them get up by too much and had to try to make a late comeback in the fourth quarter which was very tough on my end that's something that i would recommend not to do at all but like i was saying before man i got the lead up by six right now i got a good decent lead just gotta finish this out strong at the end of the day we did you guys can do it like i said you need 10 rebounds with Dwayne wade this is challenge number 12 in the Dwayne wade spotlight series if you guys complete this just know that if you guys complete this challenge right here you're going to get Diamond Alonzo. Not saying that, in, like, literally, you will get Diamond Alonzo, but just saying that all the challenges from here on now, you'll be in good hands. It's not going to be hard. This is the hardest challenge out of every single one that I had to do. So, finish it out strong at the end of the day. Let's see what 20. Uh, Was that 18 seconds left? No. no. I'm just gonna skip ahead of this. But, yeah. Like I said before, if you guys finish this, you'll get down to Lazo Morton. This is, a, this is not a simple challenge. This is the hardest challenge you'll have to do. Um, if you guys got any questions, hit me up on Twitter, RJYTV. Subscribe to join Lace Recruit, the like button as well. You guys enjoyed the video. And hey, Get that down Alonzo. <laughs> you did.